Hey, hey, it's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 8th of February. James Spann here. Busy days. You know, we've got uh, the weather radio programming. Had a huge crowd out in Trustville last night. We'll be in Homewood tonight at the Publix on Green Springs from 3.30 until 7. Now, if you're watching this, you probably got your weather radio all fixed up because you're a weather weenie. But if you know people that need help, tell them to come out and see us tonight. And then tomorrow night, we'll be in Phil Campbell as the storm tour continues across the state. Uh, again, this is for Hackleburg and everybody in Winston and Marion counties and Franklin County, especially those you know devastated by that horrible EF5 last year, April 27th. Uh, we know there'll be a big crowd there at the community college. We'll start at 630. Get there early to get you a good seat. Check some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. A look at downtown Fayette, Alabama. It's fair and cool. Ooh, we had some illegal patches of light rain last night. How about that? But not much. Uh, there's downtown Haleyville in Winston County. And go way down south, that's the uh, Skycam at Daphne on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. You can see the uh, I-10 uh, Bayway there off in the distance and the lights of the city of Mobile on the other side of the bay. Yeah, look at that shortwave coming through. Uh, despite the very dry air at the surface, we actually had a few sprinkles of rain last night. Surprise, surprise. Same thing might happen Friday night, and we're going to mention it this time in the forecast with the next front. Temperatures this morning are in the 40s. Birmingham sitting at 45. And around the nation, it's colder. Uh, see some single-digit readings up north. And the cold air spilling down into uh, West Texas, and we're going to catch a little bit of that this weekend. It's going to be sharply colder Saturday and Sunday. Numbers are coming down in the guidance, as you'll see. But we check the uh, look at the Nashville radar. I wonder if some of that's light snow up there. Could very well be. We actually had uh, some sleet last night in Huntsville, so looks like maybe a few snowflakes around the Cumberland Plateau up there. But overall, it's going to be quiet for the next five days. That's the uh, Rain through the weekend suggesting nothing here. And again, there could be a few sprinkles Friday night, but probably no big deal. We'll check the modeling. This is the GFS, the 06C run, valid at noon today. Shortwave energy moving east of here. And down below that, a pretty decent day. Partly sunny with highs pretty close to 60 today. A little cooler tomorrow. Highs go back in the uh, mid-50s. We'll start the day near freezing tomorrow morning. Friday. The day will be... Uh, Partly sunny with upper 50s. Note that little rain off to the west. And we'll check the uh, European. This is Friday night at midnight, local time. And you can see how the model is squeezing out a little bit of light rain. as the colder air begins to nose in here. And that's suggesting maybe a few light snowflakes up over Tennessee and Kentucky Friday night. And then Saturday as we start the weekend. Pretty cold. Look, look at the big vortex sitting up over eastern Canada. And uh, down below that, we're dry at 1036 high over the Dakotas. And pretty chilly. We might have a hard time getting out of the 40s, if that's correct. Maybe upper 40s. And by golly, Sunday is coming in colder. Uh, those thickness values would suggest a high in the mid to upper 40s on Sunday. So uh, it's looking like both Saturday and Sunday, highs could be in the uh, 40s. And Sunday morning, the GFS is now printing a low of 22 for Birmingham. Ooh, that's going to feel kind of brisk after this mild weather of late and uh, there's monday monday morning could be just as cold in fact the gfs is showing 22 early monday and then a high in the middle 50s as we start to warm up there's tuesday of next week we've got a uh, trough back in the southwestern states and down below that one little impulse coming out of there produces some rain and there's wednesday of next week got that uh, Trough beginning to lift out, and that looks like an even bigger batch of rain coming in here maybe Wednesday and Wednesday night. So the next wet period seems to be the middle part of next week. Let's show you the uh, European for next week. This is uh, Monday night local time. It's got some light rain moving in here. And again, that kind of jives up with the GFS. So Monday night or Tuesday, a chance of some rain. And then uh, we'll go out there on uh, Thursday of next week that looks awfully wet big low north of us that might be kind of stormy if this is right but again that's out there in the land of voodoo speaking of that we'll check the end of the forecast on the gfs this is the 23rd of the month and uh, got a big trough in the wet no look that's not a cold look right there and sure enough it's kind of mild cold air's out west and uh you know what we're gonna look at now the nao 
It's just hugging that neutral line. It just doesn't want to spike down. Uh, but again, I just caution you, the season uh, still got a long way to go. You just wonder if March might make a shiver or at least have a little cold snap or two with some uh, winter weather mischief. Uh, these So many times we've seen these mild Januaries followed by cold late season periods. Well, again, that's no forecast, just an idea. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Uh, due to the travel, we will not be able to do an afternoon video uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, with all this going on, so hopefully Friday we'll crank out a couple, but we will post a fresh discussion of the blog this afternoon. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.